Hi everyone, thanks for joining us for today's webinar, Spring into Audit Prep Stress-Free. Be set up for audit management today. As you can see, the webinar today will be hosted by Nicole Moody, Inside Sales Director at DocuWare, and I'm Nicole Schmeida, the Marketing Specialist, and I'll be moderating today's session. As I mentioned, this webinar is being recorded, and you know, I will send out an email with the recording slides and the handouts in your GoToWebinar panel, either later today or no later than tomorrow morning. On the right, you can see today's agenda. For the first few minutes, Nicole will go over how DocuWare can simplify your audit prep. Then she'll go right into a live demo, and at the end, we'll open it up for some Q&A. So with that now, I'm going to pass it off to Nicole. Thanks, Nicole. Uh, prior to transitioning to Inside Sales, I worked within the finance department of not only DocuWare, but many other organizations, resulting in over 10 years of auditing experience with and without a document management system. So as we go to, through today's webinar, let's think about a couple of things. What does your current process look like? I can tell you from experience that without a document management system, you're searching in your filing cabinet for the list of documents your auditor is requesting and hoping that the document is not misfiled. How many people are involved? Depending on the size of the audit, do you obtain interns or temporary assistants to help you fulfill the request in a timely manner? How much productive time are you losing during audit season? How much are you devoting to the audit, which means it keeps you away from your day-to-day -day tasks? You're probably familiar with these challenges already. Without a centralized solution, you're faced with downtime and loss of productivity within your finance staff, looking for documents requested by the auditors. With a document management system, you can easily share requested documents with your auditor. How can we transform the audit preparation process? Through technology. Technology is a factor that will have the greatest impact on the audit profession, according to Forbes. Through our software technology, DocuWare offers multiple options to seamlessly interact with your auditors via a web-based secure repository. Which brings us to where we, why we're here today. DocuWare, a secure, centralized, accessible solution for your company's documents accessible via any device. This slide is a preview of what it looks like. I'll dive more into that during the demo. Most importantly, all staff is required to index and store documents with uniform, consistent criteria you set up. Now you have a standardized way to store and search for your documents. The beauty of DocuWare is that not only does it work within your finance department, you can find a use within all departments and all document types. So now I'll pass it off to Nicole for a poll question. All right, thanks, Nicole. Yes, we have a short poll question for you before we go into the live demo. So I'm going to launch that and it'll actually appear on your screen now. So launching it, if you could just take a second to read the question and see the choices. So how are you handling your audits now? You don't have an official system in place or you have maybe a paper system only. You have a paper digital system, but no single software already using a single digital solution. And for your other, if you're selecting other, feel free to drop a comment in the question box. So we'll just wait until we have a good amount of people voted, and then I will close the poll and share the results. Looks like we are almost there. Again, if um, if you just, you're able to click and select one choice for the question, appreciate it. Thanks for those that already submitted their answer. All right. All right, looks like we got um, we got the vote, so I'm going to close the poll now and share the results. All right, so looks like um, majority, you know, you have a paper digital system going on, but 
no specific software to kind of like centralize it all together. Some people have another solution and you're maybe you're just, you know, checking to see what Docker can offer you. And then the others, you know, you don't have an official system in place. So, all right, thanks everyone. Thanks for, you know, giving us, you know, feedback on, you know, who's on the line. And with that now, I'm going to pass it back to Nicole. An overview of what we're gonna do. The first thing I'll do is give you an uh, overview of the interface. Then I'll discuss uh, versioning control, document history, discuss audit trails and retention schedules that can be set up within the system. Finally, discuss DocuWare requests. Let's say you get an email request from your auditor looking for specific information during your audit season. Um, and I'll show you how DocuWare requests is carried out to fulfill that request. So what we're looking at here is the Docuber interface. It's a web-based interface. So as long as you have access to the internet, you have access to your secure, uh, secure URL. At the top, we have a couple of tabs and I'll explain each one as I go through. The first one is document trays. Think about that as the tray that's sitting on your desk. Documents come into the tray that require attention to move through your process. To get documents into your tray, we have several options. We can set up a network folder on your multifunctional device or your printer. DocuWare will then watch that folder and ingest the documents into the system. You can set up a scanner, simple USB scanner connected to your computer, set it up to bring documents into your system. We have a connect to Outlook module, which will allow you to bring your emails either directly into your filing cabinet or into your tray if they require attention. You can drag and drop documents into your tray or import them directly from your desktop, which is what I'll do right now. I'll just go out and grab a couple of documents. The documents are going to come in on the, pardon me, the documents will come in on the right hand side, which is the viewer. When you double click on the document, it'll open it up on the right hand side, which is your viewer. Multiple PDF documents can be stapled together using the right click and staple feature. Any other document type can still be attached together using the right click and clip feature. The documents themselves still remain in their native format. So the first document is still the Word doc. The next one is still the PDF document. The last one is still the Excel file. DocuWare can view 250 different document types within the system. And for those that we can't view, as long as you have that software on your computer, you can open it up in your native format, make your changes to the document, and save that updated version into DocuWare. In the middle here is our toolbar navigation. There's a ton of stuff we can do with our documents. I'm just gonna show you a couple of things. The first thing is maybe we wanna increase the size of the document. Maybe you want to go ahead and add some text. I'll go ahead and point to what I want reviewed. Maybe give a little highlight to it. So now that I have some changes to my document, I want to go ahead and store it. So I'm going to select a file cabinet that I want to store my document in. Say yes to save my changes. On the left-hand side here, we're going to see our index field. This is the information that you want stored with your document when, when the document is stored. You can have as many index fields as you want within your filing cabinet. Every document is going to require a different set of information, so you can have as many fields as you like. We just require a minimum of one document for storage purposes. For my document type, I have utilized a functionality called select list. So once I start typing, I'm going to get a bunch of choices to choose from. What this gives you is the ability to have some consistency within your filing cabinet, especially if you lock that field down. So that means the person storing the document has to pick something from that list. 
because all of our documents are scanned in using optical character recognition, OCR, I don't have to manually type in any information for the company name. I can simply hover over the information and it drops it right in for me. For the date, the X key will give me the current date. Plus sign is one date forward, minus sign is one date back. Of course, you can always use the calendar feature. Or even if the, the date is in word format, if I utilize one-click indexing, DocuWare will put it in the correct numerical format. I'll go ahead and use one-click indexing for the contact and store my document. Now that my document is stored, now I need to retrieve it, which takes me over to my next tab for searches. If I just hit search in my filing cabinet, that's a blind search. Every document that's stored in my filing cabinet will be returned to me in a result list. I can use my full text functionality because of the OCR technology. So if I just type the word image and hit search, every document that has that word will be returned to me in my result list. The first time it finds it, it'll highlight that word in red. And any other time after that, it'll highlight it in yellow but I wanna narrow down my search criteria. So I'm gonna look for just credit limit letters for Image Corporation and hit search. Now I have a result list with just those documents that meet that specific criteria. DocuWare itself is very rights driven. You can give someone full access rights to your system. You can give rights based on a, a file cabinet, or within the file cabinet based on a document type, um, you can make the uh, rights of a user as granular as you need to be uh, for the use of your users. So with that, I'll give you the first example of how you can interact with your auditor by giving them a limited read-only access user license for your system. What would happen is you would uh, determine what file cabinet the uh, auditor should have access to, give them user credentials. When they log into the system, they're going, only gonna have the ability to search within that specific file cabinet. The auditor then at their leisure can come in and search by a blind search, pulling back all the information that's within the file cabinet. Or maybe they just wanna search for a specific date. And now hit search. So now they have the ability to go within the filing cabinet and just pull back the pieces of information that they need with limited to no disturbance um, from your day-to-day -day schedule. So that's just one option that you can offer. Transitioning back. So let's say I have the right to do so. I wanna go ahead and create a list. So I'll go ahead and create a save list. and hit save. That takes us over to our next tab. So think about this as a way to kind of organize the information that's within your system. You can create lists for things that you want to know that they're in your system. Um, utilize it to assign different documents to different people within your organization. So for example, that credit limit letter that was just brought in has now been assigned to me for review. When I open up that document, I see that I'm being requested to review the terms. I look at the terms and notice that they are not correct and need to update them. To do that, I don't have to download the document outside of DocuWare. I simply have to right click, edit. The document will open up in its native format. I can then make the change that I need to make. Save my document, close it, and shortly that document will update within DocuWare. I now have the ability to utilize the stamp to push that document to the next step. In my case, I just wanna apply a signature stamp to this document, which would then mark this document as reviewed and take it off of my list. So earlier I mentioned um, 
keeping the versioning of a document, the audit trails of the document, the history of the document. So within the file cabinet, if you wanted to search for a document to determine what changes had been made with that document, if I right click on that and hit history, if that document is involved in a workflow, I can see exactly what steps were taken for that workflow or on the document itself. I can see exactly every step the document took, if any changes were made to that document, and who made those changes. If I hover over one of those, for example, the edit index data, I can see that the old value was new, and with my stamp updated the value of the status to sign. So just a way for you to maintain the history of your document and maintain an audit trail of what took place with that document. Attached to that as well is the versioning control. With that turned on, you can keep track of every document. Once a change has been made to that document, the original document is now marked out of date, and the updated version of the document would always be the current version. So in utilizing DocuWare requests for your audit preparation. The, the way to do that is extremely simple. Coming to my accounts payable file cabinet, I determine what pieces of information have been requested of me and what I need to send out to my auditor. So he wants to see everything for the previous year. I get a list of those documents. I then Start with the first and with the last, and with my option, select to export via a DocuWare request. That's gonna open up a configuration where I can then create the DocuWare request, which is extracting a copy of the document out to, for me to create a zip file to send to my auditor. So I don't have to change anything because I'm, I'm sending out specific uh, invoices based on my predefined search. So I can just hit save, come to my requests, download those documents into a zip file. Once the documents have been downloaded, I can simply take that file take my downloaded file and email it to my auditor. Once he receives that email, he can then extract the files into a folder, open up that folder, process the DocuWare request, and what he receives is a searchable repository. If he hits search within here, he gets a blind search pulling in all the documents that were created, or he can do an advanced search and look for specific documents. Once he does that, he can double click on the document and the document opens up for his review. So just another way for you to interact with your accountant and then making things a little easier for you because all of your documents are in that secure location. So just to recap, DocuWare provides a centralized secure repository for your documents convenient accessibility to your information allows you to easily share from within or outside of your organization. So with that, I'll turn it back over to Nicole. All right, thanks, Nicole. Thanks for that great introductory demo. So let's wrap up before we head into Q&A. As I mentioned earlier, there are some handouts um, in your GoToWebinar panel. 
This is just one quote from one of those case studies. So we have an accountancy agency, you know, when they switched to DocuWare, they saved hundreds of hours that they previously spent pulling documents. And now the stress of audits is far behind them. So definitely check out those case studies. I wanted to highlight also our security certifications and user platform review awards. So if you go to G2 Crowd, Captera, or Gardner Peer Insights, you can read about real Docker user experiences, and I'll actually include a link to those in the email, in the follow-up email as well. So decision time, you know, we hope you move forward, take the ne next steps with Docuware and move to these streamlined digital tools that you saw today. We wouldn't want you to stay on the path of option two, where you're still in the same place next year using manual processes. So again, what you saw today was introductory. If you want to see more in-depth features and have a personalized demo, go to docuer.com slash demo, or if you're already working with an authorized Docker partner, definitely reach out to them for the next steps. And if you have any further questions or comments after this webinar, feel free to email contact.us at docuer.com and we'll put you in touch with the right person. So with that, now I'll open it up for Q&A. If you go to the question box in the GoToWebinar panel, feel free to start typing questions. So the first one we have is, how secure are the documents in DocuWare? So all data transmission is sent through HTTPS, and all documents are A AES encrypted. In addition, we have comprehensive uh, access rights to the system, so that keeps unwanted eyes out out of sensitive document. Gotcha. All right. Next question. Would my accountant require a full user license if I want to give them access to the system? Yeah, so the cloud the cloud system is all named licenses. So if you'd like to give um, your accountant access to your system, even read only access to the system, it would require a user license. You would not require a user license for the DocuWare request, though. They would be able to just open that up via extracting the zip file. Got it. All right, next question. And how are retention schedules determined? So the retention schedule is set up based on your standard operating procedures. Um, within the retention, when you set the retention schedule, you don't have to worry about um, your documents, you know, setting up the system for the documents to be deleted. Once you set that retention schedule based on the document type and the number of years, the system will automatically move that document to a list for documents for deletion. At that point, you can determine whether you want to delete the document or keep the document for legal hold. Got it. Next question is, how is the integration with SAP Workday and there's a last one, it, it's, it's all letters, I-V-A-L-U-A. -A. I guess integration, how does integration work? So DocuWare integrates with um, a lot of third-party applications. We have several ways that we can do that. Um, one of the ways to do that is via our module Smart Connect. What it allows you to do is take a screen scrape of that third-party software, request certain pieces of information that you want, and if the document exists in DocuWare, then it will pull the document while you're in that third-party application. Um, or you can pull uh, data, so you wanna update the status of a document to paid, you can update that information out of that third-party application into DocuWare. Gotcha. Next question is, are you HIPAA PII compliant? Yes, the, the system itself is compliant with HIPAA, GDPR. Um, th the compliance is done within the system, yes. Okay, next question. How can you see the storage available in a file cabinet or tray? Um, so there is a, uh, a link to the amount of storage that you have available. The system admin would have the rights to see how much storage you have. If you are approaching capacity to your storage limit, the uh, our system, our staff will notify the system admin to let them know that they're approaching capacity. So you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to run out of storage 
one day and not be able to store any document. Okay. Um, next questions. Um, let's see. People, some people are asking about pricing and licensing. Um, after the webinar, we can definitely put you in touch regarding getting more information on that. So we'll definitely follow up. Um, okay. Next question is, files will be stored locally or on the Docuer server? So the, the cloud version is, a, a, the documents are stored at a data center and not on an internal server. And just to speak to the licensing there, everything is based on the amount of users and the amount of storage. But your partner or uh, the person that you are put in contact with will definitely give you more details about that. Gotcha, yep. All right, let's see. There's one question here, um, let's see, from Gerardo. I'm not sure if it's a question or a comment, but it says DocuWear process flow can be designed with approval input. I don't know, if, Gerardo, if you had a follow-up or Nicole, you had um, any comments on that? I, I do. Um, you can utilize our workflow functionality to bring your documents into the system. Uh, if you require approval of the documents and you want to automate that process, you can utilize that workflow functionality, which will allow you to automate your documents through a process of approval. I hope that answers his question. Yes. Um, all right, looks like we have just time for a couple more questions before we wrap up. Um, let's see. Some people are asking, is there a recording going to be sent out? Yes, the recording will be sent out. Let's see. Is You mentioned SAP integration is possible. Is it also possible with SAP Business One? Uh, DocuWare does have a connector, um, a module connect to SAP which will allow you to integrate documents um, out of SAP directly into DocuWare. So there is that functionality available. Okay, all right. And someone is asking, last question is, is there a thick client software installed on my PC? Question mark. No, it's web-based. It's a cloud, so you get a dedicated URL. Nothing's installed internally on any of your servers. You're accessing your information in the cloud via one of our data centers. Gotcha. All right, that looks like all the questions for today. Thank you again for um, everyone who joined. Again, if you, you know, to take the next step, there's various ways, docuer.com slash demo. If you're already working with a docuer partner, reach out to them for the next steps. Any questions, comments, thoughts, email us at contact.us at docuware.com. Thanks again, Nicole, for the introductory demo, and I hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Take care. Sure.